Hellos, welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Cyberpunk 2077. And where we last left off, rather than do some gigs for either Wakako Okada or Regina Jones in either the Westbrook or Watson districts, we explored a little bit more of Night City. And using the map as a guide, we had a look at a few of the available side jobs to see what we could find, see what we could discover. As I mentioned, I would like to take some time just to wander the streets of Night City to see if we can spot anything of interest, learn a bit more of the world we found ourselves in. But at this point in time, with us reaching level 25 and getting 15 technical ability, we went to go see Victor Vector, and we were able to pick up a new operating system, the Sandistavan, allowing us to slow down time. Of course, as we progress later in the game, we're probably going to find different brands of Sandy, and we may change that up once again, but it means in terms of combat, uh, yeah, I think it's going to go rather well. Well, our survivability will certainly have increased because we are going to be able to engage enemies and deal more damage to them and hopefully dodge a few shots that they make towards us. But we're going to continue with a little bit more of the main storyline. We are going to go in search of Anders Hellman, one of the researchers behind this prototype biochip. He's on the run from Arasaka after reporting to the former Emperor Saburo about what his son was up to. With the Emperor now killed, Yorinobu is, well, Yorinobu would not be pleased with Anders Hellman to say the least. He is still likely somewhere here in Night City, and we are going to go over to meet the Queen of Fixers, Rogue, to see if she can put together any leads as to where he might have went to ground, where we might find him. So, with that in mind... Map. Well, journal, I should say. Yeah, we are going to go down to the afterlife. First things first, we might as well grab some rest once again. It is about 1 a.m. Uh, yeah, might as well just wait until it's bright and early, have a little bit of a lie in. And I think we'll go see Misty if she's at her esoterica. Maybe have another tarot reading. See if anything has changed. Oh, I forgot to make use of the wardrobe system. Oh, oh well. Ah, uh, the sea misty. Ah, it doesn't really matter which way we go. Arguing with you is pointless. You started it.
Second Amendment so, is not only for the rich. I wonder if that means they, well, amended the Second Amendment here in the world of Cyberpunk 2077 to cater to a certain group of individuals and not to Americans at large. It would be something that the corporations would probably try and set a precedent for. And then, unironically, <laughs> open a store called the Second Amendment. For everyone else. Hey, Misty. Oh, yeah? When you get those kind of chooms? You want to read my tarot? Sure thing. Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The chariot. You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... Someone from your family? The sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. So long as you follow your own judgment. Stick to your chosen path. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will always be rewarded. But not necessarily at your destination, as the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important, and will help you overcome your fear? Okay. How's it going, Misty? You alright? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? Uh. It's weird, but I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. Cheers, Misty. So. Okay. We don't have to talk about it now. We're gonna meet someone from our. Family. Hmm. I mean, that may make sense, I suppose, in a twisted kind of way. Uh, which way are we going again? Ah, this way. Hey, watch your tongue. We might as well just take a walk along the streets on our way to the afterlife. Unlike Lizzie's bar, I believe the afterlife is open 24-7. Oh yeah, did we... We never quite answered that question. Was there a secret here on the roof of Tom's diner? I'm gonna have to look into that again, I believe. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, we have the marketplace here. Just give me the cells. I won't make them myself. 
Man, I don't have to do Watch. anything for you. You don't like it? Find someone else. Mm -mm. way this will get us to where we need to go Note to self, we need to still take part in the illegal street fighting. I have to remember that. What now? Call for backup, crack some heads open, drag the bodies inside? I told you, dog. Afterlife's all about rep. The respect you command. Batch don't mean a thing here. Doors are shut to us, and that's that. Tough cookies and move on. Incredible. Just fucking incredible. Cunt rogue thinks she's above the law? Whoa, man, quiet down. She hear that, she shoot your balls off. And I don't want to get hit by no ricochet. Okay, the NCPD don't even enter the afterlife. I guess rogue has some understanding with someone high up in the NCPD. I guess they sometimes need... Things to get done without it being traced back through official channels. Hey. In you go. Hmm. It looks like you earned enough rep to just be allowed entrance into the afterlife. Jam. Hang on just a little longer, Chu. Ripper's on the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, rotten luck. Why aren't we at the hospital? Might not come after us here. Ah, fuck. Say something, Shan. Anything. What do you mean you're not coming? You're coming, dog. You'll be here in five minutes flat or... Fuck! Looks like a gig went poorly. Hey, v. Claire, right? You come to talk about my offer? Yeah, let's talk street racing. Sure, but not here. It's mayhem. I'll be at my garage after my shift. Swing by? Nova, talk there. Have a good one. Hey, lover boy, you're spilling. Yeah, you drenched the whole bar. Just get your drunk butt home, will ya? <laughs> Before we go over and see if we can gain Rogue's attention, can we actually go back into... Oh, we can. And say, could we go back to where we had that private meeting with Dex? Ooh. The shadow of mega buildings. Okay, this door is sealed. Can't hack it open either. Right. Okay, interesting. So, an arms deal's going on. Tell you what, we'll go around the back way, as I think there may be some other meetings. Oh! This is booming, I hope. Seen it yourself? Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. How's the afterlife? Working here, anyway. No real complaints. Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer clientele, am I right? Your words, not mine. 
Chum of mine earned a spot on the menu here. That chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. And a splash of love. That's right. And the drink's name. Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. You'd definitely go for a drink. Tough day? I don't like any other. So, what'll it be? Okay, like any good bartender, we have our range of drinks, some of which, of course, are named after the legends of Night City. We have a Jackie Wells, of course. We'll drink. We'll drink a Jackie Wells, of course. We have a Johnny Silverhand, which we enjoyed when we first came to the afterlife. Let's see, some of these are just branded drinks. I'm just going to see if any of them jump out at me. Lots of Nicola. We have, of course, the David Martinez from, of course, Edge Runners. That is the only other drink. Interesting. Yeah, they haven't named a drink after Morgan Blackhand yet. No! Is there not a one based off for Waylon Boa Boa? Or Shaitan, maybe? Interesting. Hmm. Would have thought they would have deserved their own drink as well. Huh. Oh well. We have the tiger claws here. Wow. That's a full conversion. Impressive. Oh, what's down this way? Ah, bathrooms. Oh, bathroom. Everything. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you know your what, shit. Will? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue. Wanted to talk. It's okay. Now, of course, Crispin Wayland, known as Squama. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, and it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. The girl. What was her gripe? Why didn't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T-Buck. Multiple bells ringing, V. 
Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Our Sokka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something... Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm hmm see? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Okay. And we're pretty much being told to piss off for 24 hours. We could... Go do a few gigs, keep ourselves busy, but we'll make this part based around the main storyline, so we're actually just gonna go rest here at the bar until Rogue is ready to speak to us. just realized maybe we could have had a walk around to see if that woman was still around I was speaking to Rogue earlier. I've never actually tried to look for her. Hmm. Oh well. Hey, interested in some more? That name is familiar. Wait, Dennis, Dennis, I'll speak to you later. I think that might be someone who you know from the Corpo life path. Maybe, but either way. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll. Not officially, anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. 
Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Aldecaldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, oh, V. <laughs> Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, Rogue. We'll come back and see Rogue in the near future. As well as Dennis. I can't recall what gig Dennis is offering, but... I think the gig is not exactly on hey, the hey. level. Hey, Claire, Claire. Right? Come to talk about my offer? Not at the you moment. Forget something? We have to go see Claire back at her garage. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's not good. I'm gonna puke. The relic's malfunctioning. Oh, we knew it was gonna start happening. Before we go upstairs, there is actually another tarot sign here. This one of the Empress. The Empress is a card of femininity and motherhood. 
He is authoritative, knows what she wants, and exhibits refinement and sensuousness. The Empress symbolizes creativity and growth, and instructs us not to dismiss our unconscious impulses, but to trust our intuition. Which I guess may sum up some of Rogue, of course. I think that might be the first time we've seen the relic malfunction. Not a good sign. But we have a potential lead on where we can find Anders Hellman. Seems he's uh, trying to run for this Chinese megacorp Kang Tao, working through one of their subsidiaries, Quan Ti. But we need to be able to somehow intercept an AV as it flies out of Night City. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? This thing between you and Rogue, couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car? Getting them back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Okay. He didn't entirely dismiss us out of hand. Before we go meet Pan Am, of course, let's go look at the database once again. Because it is now, yeah, worth looking into Nomad. As a street kid, we haven't really talked about Nomad so far. The first nomads were farmers forced to leave their land by a series of natural disasters, wars, and corporate machinations. They moved out, gathering in larger and larger groups, hoping to find a better home for their families. But what they saw on their journeys across the states convinced them that they were better off staying on the move. Historically, the Nomads are divided into seven nations, such as Snake Nation, the Aldecaldos, and Jodes, each of which is then divided into clans, and from there divided further into individual families. Nomads travel with their entire families in search of gainful employment. They rebuilt cities and factories after the collapse, while also playing an important role in creating the Maglev network. Some clans take jobs from corporations, seasonal of course, so as they don't stay too long in one place, while others work for local communities. Nomads place value on family, biological or not and follow their own unique code. They demonstrate loyalty to family and clan above all else. And it seems we obviously have met or been made introduction to this Pan Am Palmer, a member of the Aldecaldos. Do we have an entry on them? It doesn't seem we do as of yet. Very well. We do have an entry on Kang Tao, of course, the megacorp that Anders Hellman is trying to join or run away from Arasaka 2. Again, as we mentioned, a Chinese company and one of the world's largest weapon manufacturers. They have become a worthy competitor for Arasaka, introducing some of the most bleeding edge technology the market has ever seen. 
So yeah, Kangtao are known for their production of smart class weaponry. Is there anything else that we should maybe mention? Nothing really jumping out at me. Very well. Let's call our new vehicle. We're here in Rancho Coronado, part of Santo Domingo. We are very far out in the sticks of Night City at the moment. Which mega building is that one in the distance? Mega building 06. Where is mega building 08? Is it 08 that I'm thinking of? I'm trying to remember which one. Maybe this one here. Yeah, this might be Mega Building 08. Hmm. Just thinking for where David and Gloria lived. Which Mega Building they lived in. I think it's 08, if I remember correctly. Either way. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Fuck me, you always on the warpath? Only when someone tries to jerk me around. 
Where the hell is my car? I tell you, and then what? Gonna storm off, handle it all by yourself? That is no concern of yours. None. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. If you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamned mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The ship tricked me. He straight and nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Boz? Vista Del Rey, Boz? I had no idea you drive for 6th Street. Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values? A strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so, yes. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. Okay, before we go join Pan Am, of course, we do have another of the Major Arcana here. Huh. What's this? This one of Strength. Well? Strength is the card of resilience. It is associated with determination, bravery, an internal struggle. One must have dedication in order to overcome obstacles and reach one's goal. 
Strength is about physical prowess and spiritual fortitude. The power that must be unleashed to achieve the impossible. Get in. Coming, coming. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the Nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch! Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm-hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams, sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. I'd not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. You look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... 
Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. So we did actually get a message from Rogue. Hope a little hothead gets the job done. So we have a Mitch Anderson here and Idris Mariana, also known as Scorpion. Do we have an entry now on the Alicaldo since we're here at the camp? We do! Huh! We also gain an entry on the Wraiths and Artificial Intelligence. I don't know why we picked one up on Artificial Intelligence, but okay. What do we know of the Aldecaldos? One of the oldest nomad nations founded by a Juan Aldecaldo who fought a ruthless war at the tail end of the 1990s against the gangs ruling LA. He formed the Neighborhood Watch, which numbered 5,000 people by the time it left the city, and was known for its emphasis on family values, in whose name Juan launched his uprising against ineffective police and corrupt media. The Alder Caldos currently consist of a few dozen families spread out around America. Very well. So this is not the entirety of the Alder Caldos. This is just one of the one of the families. What do we know of the Wraiths? The first and new Nomad Codes elaborate the various reasons you might be expelled from your family, including share with others in your clan or do not keep for yourself that which may help another in your clan. Reading those documents today, it's hard to fight the feeling they were written in different 
happier times. These days, nomads are more often expelled from their families for murdering or <clears throat> a fellow family member, human trafficking, poisoning the water supply, or betrayal of their clan. And we have had a word for those nomads. The Raffin Shiv. Once ousted, most Raffins still maintain their nomadic lifestyles. They form larger groups on the road, but nobody would call these groups family, not even in jest. The Raffin Shiv prowl the Badlands, ambushing unsuspecting travelers, corpo convoys, or even, and with particular relish, over nomad camps. A gang of Raffin Shiv have even formed outside of Night City's gates, the Wraiths. They're well organized, effective, and willing to do anything. After all, like all Raffins, they've got nothing left to you to lose. Indeed, the Wraiths, the Raffin Shiv, are pretty much the scavengers of Night City. They are again decentralized, made up of various smaller groups, and are willing to do pretty much anything to improve their own situation, including ambush and kidnapping, murder, you know, basically anything, and once again, ripping out people's cyberware or organs to sell on the black market. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Haven't been so lucky. I see. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. 
We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Okay. Pull out our scanner here. Oh, various items we can interact with. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Electrical transformer there. <sighs> Seems it's connected to a control station here. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. <sighs> right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. Okay, while Pan Am brings the car around to the substation, we are gonna go help ourselves. Oh, we can't get into the bar. Can we get in another way? The answer is yes. We have a neurotoxin knife here. Not only gives a bleeding, but a high poison chance. Okay, there's various explosives we can interact with. Ooh, we have a data shard here. Sorry, Jax, I'm out. Put those new fridges in under the bar, set up the kegs, taps are all flowing. Guess you all, or guess all you need is some fucking customers. As a friend, though, just sell the damn place. They're never gonna finish this town. Okay, so yeah, the state of shot was back when this bar might have actually, this town might have actually become something. thing if it's not in night city it's not gonna be anything here we have a back exit here ah, okay these doors are unpowered which is why they're not opening at the moment hopefully the once we restore power look at all like brain dance studio yeah, hopefully once we've restored power to the substation we'll be able to use the other doorways as well pathology of the badlands hmm. we do have surveillance cameras here
I think there was an access point, it might have been over there, in that antenna, which we could hack into. <clears throat> There's actually someone on the rooftop here. Who had... Oh, a more powerful version of our old power light machine gun. Might have been a wraith. Let's have a look. An archived conversation between... A cookie and a Marty. Okay, yeah, looks like they were planning an ambush for someone coming down the road. Oh, we have another body up here. I wonder if... One was Kooky, one was Marty. And things didn't go according to plan. The ambush failed. Right, we can't jack in at the moment. This antenna is probably unpa- Joking. Unpowered. Um, I might want to just mark a few- Explosives. You know, some of these explosives might be useful. Yeah, um, I think that'll do. Either way, let's get back over to the substation. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the black rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah, she's going to be taking up an overwatch position. We could smash through this window, but we do have the body to rip this door open, even though it does kind of screw up our arms. see we have a message here from a Winona Evans to an Alejandro Garza please let me know where we stand with the substation can't we just cut it off locally and obviously Alejandro is replying it can be disconnected but they can't promise that some drifter will simply walk back in and hook it back up Kind of like what we just did. Oh, we were meant to activate the power. Whoops, my bad. Switch gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Okay. 
before events start and take place. I'm just going to quick save. In fact, I'm going to drop a big save. And I will be right back. And sorry about that, just had to double check something. Okay, so. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Been there.
cherry on top. Let's pack it in. That's all of them. Let's help ourselves. Didn't even know we were here. Another neurotoxin knife. Oh, oh dear. Madame's waiting for us. Access point. Ba, 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 ba. To the Fountain Mackinac. Wait for me in the car. Move. I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got him. Sixth Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Wanna just show up at the Raffin hideout? Are you out of your mind? Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. Matter of fact, I do. We take the stuff to 6th Street, then go after Hellman like we planned. I gave you my word, didn't I? Please stop writing my ass about Hellman. And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just... just help me get Nash. <sighs> Alright, so where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they hadn't, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him. Yeah. What? 
Some cover. I see a sniper. Careful. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck. Get zero. Oh Break shit! Down. Some up there. Yeah. Bloody hell. Well, we died about, well, we almost died about four times there. Jesus H. Christ. Let's enjoy the spoils of our victory. Still check, make sure everyone is indeed dead. Yeah, fighting a mass group of enemies like this, we are going to need... Oh, need a shot. We're going to need a way to deal with a group... Oh, it's still alive. To deal with a large group of enemies. Or make our Sandista van cooldown shorter. Which we will be able to do later on. I think we can reduce its cooldown as we neutralize enemies. So we just need to make our blade more powerful. And we need to be able to kill people quite fast to reduce its cooldown. We have an iconic tech precision rifle here, the Widowmaker. This, of course, was... This was Nash, of course. And, yeah. It fires two projectiles per shot. Deals chemical damage with a high chance to apply poison. I think there was a, yeah, there's a data shot here about the El Caldos and one Panam Palmer. Yeah, it seems that they were uh, keeping an eye on her for some time. They were wondering whether the El Caldos were starting up business here in Night City. But they assumed later on that Panam was working on her own.
Hmm. Note to self. Maybe we should look into... Yeah, we... It might be worth grabbing the... Eyes that allow us to see explosives. So that we can detonate those. That might help our situation. It didn't help that halfway through that combat... Uh, some more wraiths pulled up. But we're alive, they are not. Personal computer here, see if there's anything of interest. A poncho to Groovy. Talking about one of the rapping clans, their family, and how they got thrown out. So we did actually gain a few bits of skill progression there. Yeah, we got a perk from Netrunner 15. And, oh, a cyberware capacity increased... By five, we're getting ten in engineer. Okay. And we did actually gain an extra perk. Um, let's see. We want to grab extended duration. That's probably the most important thing to grab right now. Now, does that show on our cyberware? No, okay, so it's... We have 8 seconds on the Sandista van. We have 0.9 from Reflexes Attuned. And then I think we have the extra 15% from Extended Warranty. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. Ooh, hello. Just a moment. I see something shiny nearby. Where are you hiding? I have a tier 4 item. One bitter cold bitch, that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. 
Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Panna! How's Nash? Doesn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Uh huh. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Okay, rogues reaching out to us once again, wondering what we got out of helping Pan Am deal with Nash. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough, for this place to seem worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything. Partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The Shiver Cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Aldecaldos. You think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but... someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? 
Without my clan, who am I? What would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could always try it out. See who you become in Night City. Except, City doesn't always play fair. Don't know if it's worth sacrificing your friends along the way. You mean Mitch? Scorpion? Come on. Sooner or later, Pan Am, this city will suck you in. Won't need to cut whatever ties you got left at the Aldecaldos. Because the city will do that for you. I guess I should think about it. Alright. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... Uh, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a... little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. Ah, we might as well stay and finish up our beer. a bit too much. Actually, before we call it an evening, we've always kind of walked past these, uh, these old, uh, gaming consoles. I can't recall if you can win anything special from them. start. High score of two. Oh, hey, silver hand. Take the, uh, the Google dinosaur when you don't have any internet. Not even on the top ten. God damn it. So that apple give us extra points or was it this What the hell? Oh you can double glut Yeah, extra points, right. Right, okay, I didn't realize I didn't realize you could double jump. Double jump and glitch.
Oh. C. And C. Okay, we're definitely on the high scores. Question is, do we earn anything for getting anywhere on the high score screen? I actually have no idea. Does this actually this game actually go? I actually have never progressed this whatsoever. So hmm. Guess we'll find out together. I think we have first place. Music's getting more funky, that's for sure.
Oh, and we're back to the beginning, but it's, I guess, difficulty two now? Uh-oh. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I think we're, uh... We're not long for this world now. Yeah. I should have jumped there. But I was happy to come to the end. Oh, bloody hell, no. It was... Right, 3,300. Okay. I, okay. I'll take four. Oh. We actually earn some eddies. Is this another game we can play? Trauma drama. Oh. Thank you for playing Roach Race. We hope you had fun. There are prizes waiting for the best runs. Right, so I'm guessing there's something to get. Something to reward you for getting into the top three. Interesting. I did not know that. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll come back and try again at some point. For now, let's get some sleep. Good night. Mm-hmm. A few hours later. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. Of course, we're now in the Badlands. Dakota Smith is the fixer who works with or is a member of the Aldecaldos. Obviously, we can always uh, meet up with her, of course. I think she's relatively close to the Sunset Motel. Of course, in case we didn't sleep here at the Sunset Motel, Pan Am's telling us to meet her here at midnight to discuss the plan to down the Kangtao AV. Oh, we actually did gain a level. Ah, oh, right. I would love to work on our reflexes so that we can be more effective with our blades. Reducing the stamina cost as we saw when fighting the wraiths. Our attack speed, our combo speed was slowing down. That is a problem, but obviously the more we go down the reflexes and the perk tree here with blades, the more effective we will be. We'll work something out, I'm sure. But I think first of all, as I say, I think we'll... um. Aim to get Adrenaline Rush, which means we need to get Body to 15. Gives us some extra maximum health, gives us that Overshield. Is there anything worth grabbing? An extra grenade might be handy. Yeah, we'll put the point into body.
Is there any perks worth investing in for the moment? An extra grenade charge could be handy. An extra recharge speed for health items could be really good. Alright, we'll grab that. We'll grab Pyromania level 1. But what we'll do is we'll take a break here at the Sunset Motel. This is a good place to take a pause. When we come back, it is near midnight. We'll go see Pan Am as she's been working on her Thornton. And we'll see what plan she has to aid us in getting a hold of Anders Hellman. Thank you all for joining me though with even more Cyberpunk 2077. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then though, take care. Bye bye now. <laughs>